The seven star terror raid event for Del Fox is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details in today's video as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So starting off, hopping over to Cerebi to take a look at all the details for this Terror Raid event. It is going to be the Delphox 7 star Terror Raid. It is going to have that very Terror typing. will be level 100 and the first phase of this Terror Raid event will be running from today as of recording this video on the 7th of July and running over this weekend until the 9th. Just bear in mind, if you don't go back online after the 9th of July, you'll keep this event in your game until the next time you do go online, and then it will disappear after the 9th. But if it does go away through the next week, then it will be returned for a second phase on the 14th of July until the 16th. So you'll have another chance to take part in this event once it returns. And it is only catchable once per save file. Just bear that in mind like all other 7 star terror raids. And it has got its hidden ability Magician. But bear in mind, unlike our preview article where we thought Magician would play a big role in these terror raids, it does not work like it should. So it won't steal any of your items. So you're pretty much safe knowing that your shell bell or any of your boosting items that you're taking into the raid won't be stolen by the Del Fox throughout. Now its moveset it has got is Fire Blast, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Will-O-Wisp, additional moves of Dazzling Gleam, Magic Room and Nasty Plot. So good coverage with Fire, Psychic and Fairy. It has got disruption with Will-O-Wisp as well. Dazzling Gleam is the big fairy type and attack move that it's going to take advantage of, of course, and it has got access to Magic Room. So for those of you that don't know, Magic Room, when it is used, it nullifies the effects of all items, held items for five turns. So if you've got a Shell Bell, you're not going to be getting any recovery for five turns. If you've got a Life Orb, you're not going to be getting any boosts to your moves for five turns until that effect wears off also has nasty plot as well so it can boost its own stats so that is something just to bear in mind but that is its move set and we were pretty close in our preview article with what we expected it to kind of run going into this raid now for the item drops as always with these seven star terror raids it's going to have a flurry of good items that are going to be useful for you in your games large candies xl candies calciums lots of fairy terror shards tm41 ability patches as well and you can also get ability capsules bottle caps pp ups timid mint and then a lot of other high cost items so a really good raid event if you have caught it to go back into it and just farm it for these items that are going to make it easy to stock up on with this particular event but that is the dull fox it will be running phase one from the 7th till the 9th of July and then returning on the 14th to the 16th for its second time out. And to access this event in your game, you're going to need to come down to your Poker Portal. And once you're here, make sure you are connected online and then come down to your Mystery Gifts and then in to check Poker Portal News. This will just update all of the terror raids in your area. And once you have done the update, you can come onto your map and you will be able to locate the terror raid den. It will look like a six star terror raid, but it will have the fairy typing. So you want to just mark it on your map and head over to it. And the builds that we'll be featuring in today's video are going to be builds that we actually featured in our preview article. They're going to be the best options I feel currently as of recording this video to go in and solo this Delphox raid pretty consistently in Ledge, which probably has the edge over Armor Rouge, but both do a very good job. So kind of covering both games as well if you haven't got access to one of them because they are version exclusive. So for the Ledge, we have the Fire and Ghost typing. We have the Steel Terror typing on this. That is really important. With the Shell Bell item, it is set to level 100 and it has an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack. You can change that attack to 252 special defense if you want to take moves a bit better, but I don't feel like you need it going into this raid uh, with an adamant nature. We've got that flash fire ability, which is the most important thing on here. And then a move set of Sword Stance, Clear Smog, Iron Head and Bitter Blade. And that is the Serilege. So very solid build going into this raid. And then we've got the Armor Rouge as well. It's not going to have a super effective attack, but it is going to be strong enough. It's going to be able to resist all of the big attacks coming out from the Delphox, set up on it and do some big damage in return. Fire and Psychic Typing, it has got the Terra type of Psychic. Level 100 again with the Shell Bell item, with the moveset of Psychic Terrain 
Acid Spray, Calm Mind and Expanding Force. Flash Fire is the ability again and then the EV spread on this one is 252 Special Attack and 252 Special Defense with a Modest Nature. Both builds that we're featuring in today's video will be linked down in the description if you want to take a closer look at those. But the Armor Rouge, the basic idea is to go into the raid, you're going to see the Del Fox go for a turn zero Dazzling Gleam. After that, go for two Calm Minds. Don't get too greedy here because there is reasoning behind this. Two Calm Minds to the start of the battle, then go for your three acid sprays then set up your psychic terrain and then you're going to be able to launch an expanding force off and do some big damage potentially picking up the knockout on the shield when that is all set up now after that the del fox will likely nullify all of the stat drops on its side of the field so you'll have to go for those acid sprays again and go for three of those again and then start firing those expanding forces off it won't really negate any boosts on your side of the field until very very late on in the battle but you should be able to set up a few more calm mines uh, later on in the battle if you need to and Omru is going to be able to kind of deal with it quite easily but for the several edge we'll go into the raid now and i'll show you exactly what you need to do to take on this del fox and make it super easy for you to do in your game so turn zero when we come into the raid you're going to see the del fox go straight away for a dazzling gleam this shouldn't do too much damage because you are going to resist it with your several edge then you're going to want to concentrate on going for those sword stances so you want to get three sword stances up as soon as possible the psychics will come out and they will hit you pretty hard uh, to start with so you might want to take turns and go for the sword stance then a bit of blade then your two other sword stances so the bit of blade is quite nice to use early on in this raid just to recover health back at this stage so you don't get knocked out too quickly because this next psychic is going to take you down pretty low but the bit of blade will top all of your health up at this stage after that initial sword stance so you can see here that we have full health again pretty much and then we're in a good position now to go for those two sword stances one after another so turn three is when you are going to see the shield go up on the del fox sometimes it is turn four or the very beginning of turn four but normally turn three so going into turn three now obviously with our second sword stance here and this is likely when we'll see the shield go up on the del fox so this is kind of the timing when you go but we only need one more sword stance here and we're not going to have to worry about getting our stats nullified anytime soon by this del fox so you can see it's going to go for another psychic here it takes us pretty low this time we get another sword stance off uh, but the next one we should be able to recover a good bunch of health with another bitter blade and that's what you kind of want to rely on here until you have terrestrialize and then you can utilize that iron head for super effective damage so one more bit of blade before we are able to terrestrialize psychic will take us pretty low once again at 16 health and yeah you can see the special defense drops on the psychic that it does fire off do make it a little bit tricky of course but we are still plus six attack um but with terrestrializing into a steel type we are going to be able to take those psychic type attacks a little bit better we'll start to resist those now going into this next turn and there you can see it removes the negative effects from itself but we still have that plus six you can see we've still got that plus six attack stats so we're sitting all right at the minute minus two special defense isn't super helpful but we can now terrestrialize and now we can go for these iron heads into the del fox and this should break the shield on it right now so psychic coming out we are minus two special defense bear in mind so we do take a good chunk of damage there um, but the iron head going to be able to plus six return some nice big damage to this del fox and uh, not quite enough to take down the shield but doing a good respectable amount of damage to put us out of range of getting knocked out by a psychic this next turn and there you see it comes it removes this stat changes from our side of the field and there's the magic room as well so we have to rely a little bit more on our bitter blade now which is not ideal as it goes for a nasty plot so um this is the time when it goes for the nasty plot you want to use the clear smog just to remove those stat boosts on its side of the field so that's the nice thing we'll try and go for a will-o'-wisp but our flash fire will activate here so just want to get that 
clear smog off to remove any nasty plot boost so if it does go for nasty plot just make sure to use that then we're going to have to try and get some sword stances up again now but with that steel typing that we do have access to now we should be able to take attacks a little bit better going into these next few turns just go for one more bit of blade just to get a little bit more health back before we launch these final iron heads off you can see the bit of blade really useful in this match especially when that magic room is in effect we are only plus two at the minute so we're not going to be doing as much damage as we would do on plus six but you're going to be in a good position right now to just fire off these last remaining iron heads and kind of clean up the battle pretty easily from this stage it's the final iron head and we managed to take the del fox down pretty handily with the Sarah ledge now you can see the item drops that we get from this del fox so you've got xl large candies terry ferris shards and all the other good item drops that you get although it's not as quick as some of the previous raids that we've done uh we haven't been able to kind of run through this the raid time was pretty low when we finish off and it's the same with both Sarah ledge and Alm Rouge, they're about the same time, both of them. And you go into this raid to do this solo. But between them, I feel like the two best options for being able to kind of soak up the big attacks from the Del Fox pretty easily and then do some good damage in return and kind of beat it consistently. And that's the big thing here. They are both consistent options solo in your game to beat the Del Fox and then farm for these high cost items. And of course, if you want to farm these raids after you've called the Del Fox, you want to just come onto your map and then go into your home menu, then come to system settings down into system then down into date and time and sure that your synchronized clock by the internet is off click into your date and time and just toggle through with a don't change anything here and click that ok button and then come back into your game and your raid dens will all respawn and you'll be able to locate that seven star terror raid event for delphox once again head over to it and then just farm it and repeat the process over and over and over again in your game so that is everything for today's video friends i hope you have found this video useful let me know what you've been running through this del fox with in your games and what you've had more success with doing this solo by yourself if you've enjoyed today's video do drop a like and make sure that you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content thank you so much for tuning in and i will catch you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye